Okay, this video tutorial looks at the mathematical strand of data representation and interpretation. And more specifically, we're going to focus our understanding on parallel box plots. So, what is a parallel box plot? Well, essentially, it is a way of comparing two sets of data using our five number summaries, and we put them on the same axis or graph. So, to construct a parallel block box plot, you basically need to construct or create two or more separate box plots, but then put them on the same axes, either next to each other or above each other. And there's some examples here. Here's an example where we've got box plots on the same set of axes on top of one another. Here's an example where we've got them on the same set of axes um, where they're next to each other. It's just a really good opportunity for us to be able to visually see and compare two sets of data. So let's look at an example question where uh, we're going to create some box plots um, and we're going to determine uh, some statistics about these particular teams. So throughout the last 20 years of AFL, there have been three clubs that have won three premierships in a five year span. So by comparing each team through parallel box plots, I want you to comment on which team you believe is the best. And these are the results. So basically the first thing we need to do is we need to create five number summaries. Uh, we might want to look at the mean of these teams as well, but create five number summaries um, of each team and then we can construct our, our box plots. So we're looking now at the average, uh, which is the mean. So we're looking at the mean of each team. We've got Brisbane from 2002, Geelong from 2009 and Hawthorne from 2015. And you can see here that Brisbane's mean or average is a little bit higher. Uh, only slightly from Hawthorne. And now we've got underneath that our five number summary here. All right, oops, I've included the IQR there. I don't want to do that. So five number summary where we can look at using those to create our box plots. Um, as I just sort of mentioned accidentally, I've also got the IQR here, all right, which gives us a bit of an indication about consistency. And again, the lower the IQR, the more consistent you would expect with the different statistics. So once we've got our five number summary, we can create our box plots here. And you can see that I've got three different box plots here, all under uh, on the same set of axes. So we've got our points per game. Now, bear in mind, we're just looking at the points that each team has scored. I've also included the different values. So my Q1s, okay, uh, sorry, my minimum values are on my Q1, my median, my Q3, and my maximum values are all, I've just kept them on there so you, you know where those numbers came from. Um, and as we can see here, we can see straight away that Brisbane having a smaller range uh, and a smaller IQR means they're probably more consistent. Uh, Hawthorne obviously have the ability to score high, uh, very high points in a game, um, but you can see that their range is, is far outweighs the other two teams. So they're probably a little bit more inconsistent. Um, so I'd probably tip my hat to Brisbane here uh, on average, um, having a slightly bigger mean, uh, relatively simple, uh, si sorry, similar median to Hawthorne, but obviously their range and IQ are a little bit smaller, so they're going to be more consistent. Uh, so now what I'd like you to do is have a go to practice questions, very similar. Um, you're just comparing um, some times for a, an old anaesthetist drug or as an anaesthetic drug compared to a new drug that are going to trial in a hospital. Uh, again, create the parallel box plot for the set of data and then compare the two drugs and their speed and reliability. So please feel free to pause the video here. Um, if you feel like you need to um, rewatch some things, you can, but yeah, feel, feel, feel free to pause the video. Have a go at the questions. Once you think you've got the answers, continue uh, the video and we'll see how you went. So here are the answers again. We've got our, our question at the top. Um, first thing we needed to do was create our five number summary. Um, and as you can see here, we've got the old drug and the new drug, the five number summaries here, and we've got a box plot. Um, and it's looking like just, uh, just through observation that the new drug has much more consistent, much more reliable. Um, all right, because uh, you can see the data is really compact. It's not as spread out as the, uh, compared to the old drug. All right. Um, 
looks like it takes the, the time of the new drug was about nine seconds or less. Uh, obviously, the new drugs uh, range and IQR are much smaller. Okay, we can see that here. Okay, the range and the IQR are much smaller than the old drug, which is great for the hospital. Um, so it just looks like the new drug takes less time. Uh, it's less spread out than the old drug, um, which is greater for the patients. So hopefully you were able to come to that conclusion.